wait for the other pony to come by. Stand still. So what we're looking for is a pony to be relaxed as it possibly can. I mean, this is just early training, you know, for this type, this part of the training. It's quite early, so obviously the motor car going makes no difference. Sometimes you'll get when you've pulled over to let the traffic go a few times, and then you've gone off and you're following the traffic, sometimes you'll get them follow a car, you know, because they think that's what they've got to do. But what they've got to do, basically, is do what we asked them to do. So that pony's just gone up there fine, you see. This one's standing quiet. And that's exactly what I want. Just want it to stand it quiet like that. Stand. So that's a bad thing, so I don't shout, I don't scream. I just say stand. And it's got... Um, it's got, only got a rubber bit in. Stand still. So it's got to learn to stand now, as long as it does, and then it's no good standing, it's got to stand, that pony's going to be out of sight in a minute, in front of us, when well, she's looking now, look, looking at the pony, where's he gone, oh my friend's gone, I'm in trouble, it's got to stand there quiet, that's what we want to do, but screaming and shouting, and smacking it, and all that sort of thing is total stupid, just got to ask it, and have the patience to sit here, and wait for it to, but this is just lovely, what's just happened now, she's got her leg at rest, you can't see for the towel, but if you look at her hip, you can tell of, she's standing on her toe behind, so she's right there, resting the leg, let's just put it down again now, that's superb, you can't ask for more than that, there's no horses, uh, shotguns going off for shooting today, um, and she's standing there as quiet as a lamb, I don't know if you heard that shotgun, but it's quite close, Another one just gone off then. So, very, very, very good. You know, very, very pleased with this little pony. And this has got acne blood in it. I don't know that and I can't prove it, but the way it steps and moves and its attitude, you would say it's got acne. Definitely without any question. Right, walk, babe. And it just go away at the quiet walk. And that's what we want. And trot, baby, trot. And you see, I'm not putting any pressure on the reins. I'm not holding it back. You know, so if she wanted to chase after the pony in front, she could. So we're just going on just nice and gentle. See, when you, you've got to have patience with horse. And the problem is, when you break them steady now, just walk. See, as soon as it didn't do what I asked it to do, I checked it immediately. Don't let them get away with anything. If you look at, I keep saying this same thing, if you look at your pony or horse that you're driving, no matter if it's a multiple one, a donkey, it doesn't matter. If you look at that as your engine, your motive power, you can't go wrong, can you? Don't get in your car, turn it on, let it go and do what it likes. You steer it, you brake it, you position yourself correctly, you consider it of other traffic. All that is done by the driver, nothing to do with the horse, all the horses is the power to pull the vehicle and when you look at it like that then a pony or a horse whatever you're controlling it you're safe to be on the public highway as long as the horse is broken correctly putting horse between the shelves and getting it to pull a cart is i don't know 30 percent of training horse in my opinion anyone can do it but it's training them so they're safe under any circumstance and that's what you've got to do, and that's what you've got to try and do. So I'm going to pull into this roadway here. This is only a, like an industrial estate. It's a couple of houses, but not many. So I know I can pull in here quite happily. And I'll just ask this pony, whoa, stand. And this one will walk past. Come round, there's a baby. Just settle down now. That's a good girl. Yes, you are. Have a look up there. See where your mate is. Steady now. Steady. 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 And just sitting here quietly with this horse is what we need to do. We don't want to do no more than that. Stand still. Stand still. Where's a good baby? Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. That's it. So I was saying I want to go up there with my friend. Come over, I've got to put them over now because that's it, they just stand still. So that's it.
you never hear me shout and scream, smack them or do anything. Just do this, what I'm doing. Nice and gentle. The problem is when people break their own ponies, there's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, I'm all for it. The problem you've got is having the time. So it's going to pour the ground now. Yeah. So it's having the time to spend. So if this was, like we say, a weekend day and you're training your horse and you've got this happening now. Yeah. Oh, baby. You've got this happening now. Go on, get up. Come up. Come over. Come over. Get her back over here. That's it. Well, when you've got this type of thing happening now, yeah, you can't stop. I don't care if it pours and it's raining now. I don't care if it pours down. We've got to continue to stand here until this pony does as it's told. But if you smack it or hit it to do this, that's no good. You're just making more frustration. But I know that she will stand, give them time, Nice and gentle, just a soft rubber bit in her mouth. Stand up, that's it. There's a good baby. Stand still now. So make sure she can see her mate there, that's it. Whoa, stand, stand, stand. Whoa, stand. Get up, go on. Come over, come over. Stand still. So here I'll still stand. And I'll stand here as long as it takes to get this pony. But if I was to smack it now, well, it's just ridiculous. So now it thinks, I want to go up there with my friend. I can't do this. I've got to stay. I can't, I've got to go. And you're going to smack it? Ridiculous. Start shouting and screaming at it? No good. Going to its head? No good. Now you say to me, well, it's much better to go to its head. I've got a lot of, well, you know, many years breaking the training horses. Well, baby, stand, stand, stand. That's it. So many years training. Come over. Come over. Come over. Training and breaking. Oh, she's a great training and breaking and whatever you want to call it. And you can't, if you smack them or scream and shout at them, it's no good. They've got to do it because I've asked her to. I've asked you to stand still and you will stand still. We're not even, I think we're a mile actually from home. And we've only walked here so this pony is not worn out. Not tired, not, oh, you know, I'll be glad when this is over. None of that, it's fresh. It's well fed, has short feed every day and as much ailage as it can eat. And good quality ailage, we only serve that because there's no point in anything else. So, now she's standing, isn't she? But I haven't smacked her to achieve that. The problem is if you break them yourself and this was a Saturday, you know, or it was getting darker or it was doing whatever it's doing, how can you possibly... You've got to carry on. So if it started pouring down now, thundering, doing whatever it done, even if you get soaked through the skin, you've got to stay with the job. Now, what I'm going to do now is just set my old clock on here. I've got a clock on top of this thing, if I can ever see it. And I'll give it a minute standing here, so 60 seconds. It's got to stand there without doing anything silly. Stand quiet. So rearing, backing up turning from side to side, doing anything. Fortunately, where I'm parked is this, you know, it would be very rare that anyone would come out of here um, on a weekend, on a weekend day. So we can say now we're coming up to, I don't know, I can't see this clock. But, well, I think we've done about a minute. I can't see it's too small. For me to see the other GoPro's bigger, you can see the the timing on it. But see this little girl now? She's got all her silly nonsense. Now, if you went to her head, she'll expect you to go to her head when she starts messing around. If if you allow her to move, well I've had to allow her to move to keep her off the road, obviously. You see, you don't have a choice in a case like that. But now she's standing and she's doing what she's doing and that is what we're looking for so the other pony's up there on the bridge looking down at the traffic I broke that pony it's Reed's pony, the lad who's driving it but um, stand up baby 
and both these ponies are under stress aren't they you know but if you're out um, if you're out in company and one's going one way one's going the other you don't want a pony to swing around and follow the other one and cause an accident you know we're responsible for these ponies horses whatever we drive four in hand six in hand whatever on the public highway they've got to be safe confident and happy in what they do and the only way you get them now is patience bullying and pushing them is no good and never will be and one day it will come back and bite you in the ass, sure as anything you know your actions will come back on you one day so this little girl's now pretty settled um, I'm just going to leave her a bit longer So, you know, I, I'm not going to say you can't move your head at all. Well, certainly you mustn't move your body, you mustn't move your feet. You've got to stand when I asked you to. That's what I'm looking for you to do, yeah? And once we've trained her, she won't even move her head. You know, if a fly was there or something like that, she might. But she won't even move her head, you know. She'd be... Um, And there we go, that's lovely. Look, the cars are gone, she's not taking that as a, oh, what was we waiting for them, now I'll move. She's accepting what I say, and I'm not pulling on the reins. You can see the reins in my hand here, just slack on her. I'm there to check her if I've got to, but it's gonna be slack on her. So that's what we're looking to do. You can see she's just dropped her hip now, you can see that foot's at rest down there. I don't know if you can, but it certainly is at rest. So she's standing on three legs, she intends going nowhere for the minute. And that's lovely, that's all I want. A nice siren coming up now, beautiful. Right underneath this pony, can you hear it? Lovely. Standing there, doing as told. So, I suppose what I'm trying to get over to you is, breaking your own pony is lovely. If you do do that, or you're also whatever, which is beautiful, it's lovely, it's a lovely thing to do, a nice experience. But what you've got to have is the time to do it. Now if you've only got weekends and evenings, that's okay as long as there's nothing else to do one evening because often what I find, well I do find all the time, is every single day you've got to work with them when they're with us. Then they have, when they're coming towards the end of training, they have two, uh, three days off well, two and a half days, and they do nothing at all. But they're still fed. You know, they're short grub, just as though they was working. They're still fed all that. Now, if they'll come out after that time, and they'll do, yeah, yeah, we train them. That's what we do for a living. So there's one up on the bridge there. He's learning for the traffic. And this one, like this one here, is acne bred. I stepper. But up until, well, two or three minutes ago, standing on its hind legs. But we only break them with soft rubber bits, see? No metal in their mouth at all. Yeah. That's very nice of you to stop. God bless you. So that's nice, the old policeman stop and ask us all about it. That weren't in with the siren, I don't think. <laughs> so here we go now. So, had long enough. I don't know how long we have been, but the camera's been running all the time, so whatever that time is. Now I'm happy, her ears are back listening to me. She's standing calm and quiet. She's not got her ears pricked forward. Please let me get up to me, mate. She's accepted what I've asked her to do. So now I'll say to her, walk, walk. Now I'm going to stop her. Walk, stand. Now you say, well, why do that? That's tormenting her. No, it's not. She's got to do what we asked her to do when we asked her to do it. So, for instance, if we moved off and there's a child running out or a dog or some other danger to her, she's got to stop when I tell her. She can't make any decisions. All a pony is, a horse, a team of horses, they are the motive power. The rest of it is down to the driver. 
And you know, anyone that you know, you see now that leg at rest, I think just lovely there. See a little foot up, perfect. That's what we want. Walk, walk. I want to let a walk, a walk. I don't want to trot, I want her to walk. Walk, stand, and stand again. Walk. Tell you what I have noticed, we've had a bit of rain and these roads, you know, it's been very dry, cold and dry. We've had a bit of rain and these roads are really slippery. So we're gonna come up here by the side of this one. Come up baby, come up. Come up, darling. Go on, get up. Come up. Come up. So a little edge on the rails there. So it's got horse on the left hand side here. Yeah. Yep. And we are looking at this traffic right in front of us now. And what we'll do, we'll wait for a lorry. Stand still. Stand still when you're told. So the most I do really when I'm training them like this to do this work and build their confidence, what I'll do is nice two lorries side by side coming out, all these cars whizzing under her. Beautiful, just want a lorry coming this way and we'll be happy with that. See a little jerk in a little body as that car come out. Oh, what's that, you know? But look at that, that's even better. She's investigating. That's lovely. That shows me that, you know, she trusts me. She knows she's not going to get hurt. Stand still, baby. There's too many people training horses today with all these wonderful click clicks, Pirelli, you know, them long ropes, and then they get teach them to back by smacking them on the nose with a rope. I've seen that. And at the end of the day, come up, baby, come up. Come up, Dolly. Come up. Go on, get up. That's it. So we've got a lorry coming here. Just want to concentrate on this. Nice big old Arctic, it looks like. Or a big rigid. Lovely. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we want. And if you look down there, can you see her leg at rest? A little foot up. Perfect. Now what we're going to do, she knows her friends by the side of her on the left, stand still, on the left hand side here. That's it. Stand still darling. Stand still. That's a baby, good girl. So I suppose we just wait for this van to come that's coming up here now. And then we'll ask at the back to step down off the curb and go on. So the horse by the side of me, the little pony will be tested. Come back, babe. Come back, darling. Come back. That's my sugar. Come back. Now come over. And walk. That's it. That's my sugar plum. You good baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are a good little girl. Yes, you are my baby. So it's a lovely little baby child, this is, little pony, but what's happened with the owners, she's um, very awkward to say, I don't want to condemn anybody or the way they drive or anything like that, but this pony takes a great deal of sol solace and reassurance in, you know, being, it's like children, I'll try and relate it to that. If you bring up a child and it's six o'clock's bedtime, on a summer's evening you can't sit outside the pub with a glass of beer till seven o'clock, can you? You've got to leave at half past five to put them to bed at six. So yeah, it's discipline. Discipline in this day and age is a dirty word, but that's how I achieve it. But discipline is nothing to do with corporal punishment. It's nothing to do with smacking the little baby child. You can't do that. Well, no good, is it? So you've got to look at these little creatures here, you know, whether it's a great big shire or all sort of thing, everything's exactly the same, we do it the same. 
She's walked away and left her mate. She's only walking. She's not got her ears back listening. She's got a towel off her quarters. She's walking along nice and comfortable. What I have done, I have today, I'll put a little martingale on her. Um, you know, just uh, just coming down, to, just down the front. The only reason I've done that, she was getting into the habit. She doesn't like a forelock or a mane around her ears. You know, if you're just standing quiet and it's blowing on her ears, she'll shake her head um, a lot. Um, so what I've done is cut a bridle path quite wide behind her ears and um, just letting her know that you can keep your head still. It won't matter, everything's good, you know. Steady, baby. That's lovely, so pony's trotted by. You see, I've just told her steady. She'd like to go, you know, but I'm holding her gently. If you say to me how gently you hold her, well, I'll hold her with two fingers. Can you see, look? Just two fingers, thumb and forefinger, and I'll hold her like that. Well, if she was pulling me, the reins would slip, wouldn't they? And I'll stop her here. Whoa, stand. Now, you see this silliness? Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Stand. Stand still. So you say, well, what has she learned? She's, what she's doing now is trying me. If the people that own this pony, and I know disrespect to them at all, had kept her in her place, she wouldn't do this. But what she's done before, let's just take a, a scenario. I don't know if this is true. It's definitely true, the behaviour-wise. But whether this happened or not. Say you was leading her and she wouldn't walk. Come over, darling. Come over a bit here. Stand still. Say you was leading her and she wouldn't walk by the side of you. Stand still. Change the tone of your voice, yeah? Okay. So she wouldn't walk by the side. She kept dragging you along, etc. That's when this pony wanted checking. When you went to pick its feet out and it snatched its hoof away, that's when it wanted checking. Right? When you was putting that... Stand still. Putting the food in, Ellie collar, handling them, doing all of that. All of that. Stand still. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. So she was going to rear then, as you can see, but just be talking to her. She went, oh no, Dad don't want me to do that. I'll have to stand here quiet. And there's the foot, just went then. It's going to come back in a minute. The leg's going to go up rest. I'm not pulling on the reins. You know, the slack look, can you see? So I'm just checking out and saying to her, no darling, she's got to stand there. Lovely little girl. But, you know, kindness and firmness. She'll do anything other than what she's told. Or try to, right? Now I could smack her, of course I could, but what good would that do? It's no good at all. You've got to have the patience to sit here and love them and respect them for what they are. And I know that she will settle. And every time we go out, she will get better and better. If you notice, if she reared now or moved, I would tell her off. But the fact that she's... That'll do. Change that then. She's striking the ground or was about to. She hit it once. Raise me voice. Change the tone of me voice. Different attitude. You do. Get up. Back up. The other thing is that, you know, we've got to, got to try and understand horses, and I've spent a lifetime, I'd like another lifetime to understand them a bit more. What are you doing? What are you looking at? 
What are you doing, you little rascal? What are you doing? Stand still, baby. You do. So, I'm just going to say to you now, I know that this little baby child I've got in front of me now has got an itchy face. Yeah? What she's asked him to do is go down and scratch. Yeah? I can't let her do that just at the moment. I will in a minute. That'll do. Stand still. But as soon as she stands still for me, oh, my baby. Yes, you are, my little darling. Yes, you are. You remember I was saying to you about them her mane and that. You see her little mane, if you look carefully, is touching her ears. She can't stand it. Never could. So, but the, the people have the mane very, very long. Well, it's not for me to tell them to cut it, but, well, not cut it, but pull it. Um, I know it about four inch, you know, with the type of pony she is, would be right. Everybody's got their own ideas. But this is one of the problems you've got, is she really doesn't like that blowing round. It's quite blowy today. You see the clouds up above you know moving along so so now she's settling down again and that's beautiful but she's desperate to have a scratch I don't know where it is that she wants to scratch but that's what she'd do you know if I took her on a bit of grass I'd no doubt she'd try and get down and roll you know <laughs> oh my darling oh my little baby girl yes you are stand still now stand still one or two that's my baby, you good girl. You good girl. Yes, you are. Right, walk on. So it's quite a, a job, really, to, you know, breaking horses. It's not sticking them between the shelves or on the pole with another one or whatever you're going to do. Nothing much to do with it, really. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to come up here to this gateway, can you see? Come up here, baby. Come over, darling. Oh, my little baby. I'm just going to... Get my old apron off. It is cold today. Stand still. Stand still. I'm going to get down, come up the side of her. I'll give her a old scratch, and I yes, you are. That's what you want to do, isn't it, my little baby child? Yes, you do, and I shall scratch her all round the front half of her because she's been good for me. Come here, darling. This baby, like that. That's my little baby. Like that. That's it. That's my baby. Take this hair down here and get it under this brown bag. Shall we? Come here, mate. That's all right. That's all right, on here. That's my little darling. Yes, you are. Oh, get them ears out of the way. I'll put your head collar down there a bit. That's it. Now stand still, my baby. Stand still. Get your head up now. Hey, hey, hello. She'll stand while I get back on board. Stand still, bud. Stand. So you can see already she's standing better for that, isn't she? So that's knowing horses and understanding horses and being around them as long as I have. I'm getting on in years now. And that's it. I'd like another lifetime to, you know, try and get better at what I do. But yeah, lovely little pony. But when she goes back home, I'm going to have to impress upon the people. Whatever she does, like if you're leading her, she's walking too far make sure she goes back don't smack her don't hit her just say no back you know and teach her that she must do what you asked her because then ponies are safe they're confident and they're happy when you pick her feet up you know whatever you do she's got to stand still while you're doing it what you've got to do is make sure that she's comfortable to stand still I had a pony come not so long ago, the lady brought the pony, she said, I can't understand this pony, she said, I'm sick and tired of it. It's rearing up in the air and it's going crazy. Well, when I, I just had a look at the pony, and, and under where your girth sits, I had a saw there. Easy done, you only got to go up a sandy track, 
throw that up, the girth moves a little bit, and it was sore. So sure when you put it on, she didn't want you to tighten the girth, did she? No more than you would. So that was like in my point of what we do when we take the harness off, right? If you look at this this little um, for instance, this little um, croup around its tail. If you look at it, it looks a little bit white, doesn't it? Well, that's because it's covered in pseudocrim. Yeah? So I covered that in pseudocrim. You know, just a, just a cream, an antiseptic cream is basically what it is. I put it on the pony because I thought that looks a little bit pink. Just a little bit pink, but just smothered it in that, put it on, fine. When I take the harness off, I always use my nails and I draw it round underneath the pony like that where the girth lies, well if there's a sore or a little bit uncomfortable and check your horses over, it's quite simple also what we do they'll get pressure washed off when they come back to the yard with a, with a hot water washer not a steam cleaner, a hot water washer pressure washer and they, we have a um, like an antiseptic wash in there so if there are any little nicks or anything because you can't see everything under their coat they're sort of protected so that's as much as we're going to do today we're just going to trot home now with this pony, I don't know what Ree's going to do with her, she might carry on, but um, standing a lot quieter now, you see, just want a little scratch, come round my baby, come on darling, step round there nicely, that's my little girl, yes you are, you little sugar plum.